The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. fucking day what the hell was wrong with yesterday and today <laughs> so really? much like we need to talk about gay batman uh, dr two wong who trans rose tyler trans rose tyler I, my favorite tweet response was it's just like rose with a tan <laughs> and balls <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, poor Rose. Oh, what the fuck? Um, at two RTD, at two. <sighs> God, I can't even reach the daggers in our back. Uh, uh, your fans, they're still uh, there. It's hard to uh, back on the chair. Wow, that fucking thing is DOA. Oh, God, no. oh and then two women look like. As, as your boy Zach said, looked like they were holding in farts or they were seeing the god of managers. I'm not quite sure with female Thor and Kang Valkyrie oh, yeah. in in um in Wakanda Asgard or wherever the fuck they were. They look like they were in Wakanda. I don't know what remember the fuck when they I were. said it's gonna get a whole lot worse before it gets better. <laughs> I think we're here. Gary, I'm so sick of you being right all the time. Like, I don't want you to be right. I'm just, I'm fucking sick of it, man. Stop I'm, it. I'm really willing to stop being right once in a while. I'm fine with that. I can. I would like to be wrong and everything be great, or I just go in the multiverse and just be a dipshit Marvel consumer where I just have <laughs> everything. Whatever happens first is fine. Welcome to the real BBC. We're really excited to be here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a better. Okay, hey, different. Gary, remember when we thought <laughs> thought Russell T. Davis was coming back on because he wanted to save something? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do ten times worse. What I can do everything. Ten times worse than you. Yes. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Do you want a transvestite rose? <laughs> Do you want a tiny gay black Rwandan doctor? I've got you covered. Daddy, chill. <laughs> but it's okay because David Tennant's in the 60th to boost ratings. And then we'll all, and he'll be there just to say, yes, you are the best doctors ever. I validate you all. My work here is done now. I need to return to my planet. Then we can get back to proper shitty rating. I oh. literally tweeted out like the day they announced that David David Tennant was coming back. Like, oh, maybe the real BBC are finally starting to listen to the fans and uh, you know <laughs> taking some steps to fix the situation. Maybe if they listen to Nerd Rotic and As Heel versus Babyface, they'll know how to fix the situation. And then the it's like. You know those memes that's like one day later, and then it's uh -huh. like here's fucking trans Rose Tyler, and I'm like fire <laughs> everywhere, it's just fucking burning. No, just fine. A... This is not <laughs> fine. <laughs> this is not fine at all. Oh man, there's a new comic coming out though, Gary. There is. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, so it's a it's a based comic. Is it? Mm. Well, it's not like. Gay ass. Below. I've shared it. I've shared it. It's with not you. gay ass. Well, uh, who, who knows? Oh, that's that's oh. awesome. Oh, nah. hey, that's, that's me. No hey, that's no oh, boobs. That's, that's no so soul. Cool. It has no boobs. 
the Hebrew versus the abomination that was your favorite franchise. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love this. That was yesterday. <laughs> that was yesterday all day. <laughs> yes, it was. I like how I'm saying it has no hope because of the infinite. No hope hope. No <laughs> hope. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, it's got a what we all care about. Mola cares about plot. Yeah. You, can, you know, like the soul. Uh, Nina, the hope made boobs. <laughs> There's no boobs. And it's, and it's the There's balls. There, be balls. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna have to reconnect because my PC is completely crashed again. Oh no! What? Okay. Nothing. M nothing's moving. Curse is not moving. I, everyone's Just reconnect. Everyone's... I can bitch ah. about Doctor Who for a fucking. Am I frozen or am I moving? On You're your here. Screen? We see you and hear you. Look you. Oh. Fantastic! You look sexy as hell. Mm -hmm. I just had a boob boob do. You are the eye candy of the show let's be real That's i am cool. here to be objectified objectified I'm easy objective. on the eyes i'm objectifying I am you me. as we speak as unlike this you're only you're only feeling like <laughs> it i'm not even excited about this anymore like i don't even fucking I can't care. even control alt delete oh you're gonna have to sir uh you'll have to unplug your machine i feel like this is a dying light back. thing yeah i feel there's like something wrong with the p there's something like i like last couple of days i don't know why but my PC's crushed like this three times. Uh, as soon as the real beat, as soon as Dying Light 2 was over on Sunday, did this as well. So it did it twice during Dying Light 2. You're all frozen. Gary's frozen in the most. I'm going to. Can I print screens? I don't know. I don't even work. know. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's just frozen in the most beautiful smile I've ever seen on his face. <laughs> it's just like. No. It's it's the tears of a clown as it's, it is the tears, tears of a clown. Right. Um English the beat ice. version. Okay. English beat version. I know the OG is great, but I like the English beat version. That's what I grew up right. with. Right. Um, I'm gonna reset everything, Biabi. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh that it that cover is fantastic. I will share it on Twitter. Yes, I want to beautiful. share that. Who who put that up? I can't see who it. Oh, is it? Uh, well, I see my stuff there. Uh, Jason. Is it Jason? McQueeston. Oh, I, it's a it's a reply back to your own tweet. Okay, good. All right, we'll we'll, we'll retweet that and thank you. That's fucking awesome. That's you guys are amazing. Great. You guys are thank, great. You. thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah. Uh, as is um, celebrating uh, Black Lives Matter right now, <laughs> it's Juneteenth a little early, so just ignore him as he comes back. <laughs> Power of the people, folks. Power of the people here at Real DC. Walk on up forever. Or he's going to come back gay as. And by the way, if you don't like gay as and you're not into gay as, then you're a bigot. Just remember that. It's true. It's true. You're total. Uh, Wakanda yeah. Asgard forever, I should say. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> That picture, and oh, Bruce Wayne is gay. Ah, oh, that's right. Bruce Wayne is gay. That's right. <sighs> I mean, oh. I, I think it took way too long for him to come out of the closet. I mean, Superman's son's already been out. Superman's out. Wonder Woman's been by forever now. I mean, it, it, it's about time. Ezra Miller, the Flash is a they them now. I mean, come on now. It was about time. And when he gets arrested. He's going to use the violence to sell no. NFT crypto. <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of NFT crypto and my eyes getting scarred, did you see the Madonna NFT video? Where yeah. Where there's a fucking tree growing out of her vagina. Giant sequoia coming out. <laughs> yes. I thought it was a picture. That's way worse now. Oh. No, there's a video, X-Ray Girl. Oh, no. Full-on no. video of it, like, from... The moment it grows out, it's probably from all the mold that's been growing down there. It's, yeah, it's called a yeast infection. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Oh shit! She earned it, folks. She earned it. Um, I got one, one, one a show. Holy, <laughs> where was I? Oh, I need more coffee for one. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite a fucking day. And then, uh, of course, there's uh, there's there's fucking Lord of the Rings, and we just like at the end of my video, I talked about some details.
that's tip of the iceberg shit, folks. I'm going to be rolling them out as I learn them. I think I'm going to get, I'm going to learn some more soon about episode two. Uh, but it turns out that the bad guy is probably going to be, and this isn't confirmed, okay, but it's going to be Galadriel's brother who should not exist or they renamed or had survived because she had three brothers fourth for okay like this is where i'm not a fucking tokenologist all right she had a fourth brother <laughs> that they rewrote into something else i'm pretty sure pretty sure but i know about the three brothers that died they all died in the first stage but apparently this brother is going to be marked by Sauron and be basically baby Sauron or whatever. Baby <laughs> Sauron. Sauron. <laughs> brother. And it's, and that these asshole fucking showrunners are out there and, and the, like all the fucking Tolkien people are like, these are the right people. It's in the right mm -hmm. hands. I'm really going to respect Tolkien by completely making up a bunch of fucking characters. It's like. I saw, I saw your video weird. and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys all change your tune to the exact same one after you get mm -hmm. a paid vacation to the fucking UK. Go fuck yourselves. Come on now. Come on. No, it, I, I'm not the only one who said this, but like we're human beings. Okay. Like we get, I, if I, this is why, I, okay. The answer to this is no. If you care about your channel at all, you say no, unless yeah. you're like, Hey, uh, like if you're like, nerd cookie she doesn't really do reviews right she does mm -hmm. lore lore Please, videos go go if you're a lore channel go by all means go but then don't come back and say i'm gonna objectively talk about this no you're not no you're not no you're not listen it's gonna be um uh, up front like i i took a tour of the orville set for season three but that was after i reviewed season one and two without knowing anybody and said, I loved it. And I stand by it to this very day. I think it's some of the best sci-fi I've seen. And it's actually the best sci-fi I've seen in the last, uh, since it, the expanse took a shit mm -hmm. uh, over the last five years. It's the funnest show I've seen in the last five years. If you haven't seen it. I mean, unfortunately it was, it was the funnest show. <laughs> really I don't know what's going to be like the new show, but um, the new season, I know the first half is at least going to be fine. Okay, good. I can tell you that. All right. That's all I can say. Perfect. As far as wokeness is concerned, they're, they're very much. Can, I, I, I'm under an NDA. So this is why you don't do this shit. Like this was three mm -hmm. years ago. My channel was up and coming. I get a call from fucking Seth MacFarlane and Tom Constantino. And they said they watched my reviews and they're like, hey, you want to come on the set? I'm like, sure. I, you know, yeah, you're not going to say no. Are you going to say, say no, to no that? But the thing is, like in, in like now I would. Mm -hmm. Sure. Now I absolutely would because now I'm in a position where if that show goes woke and believe me, if it does, I'll fucking say it. I don't care. Uh, I might upset people, but I've already done that. You know, I'm in the boys comic and I harshly criticized season two. <laughs> okay. Which, which my, my friend is the executive producer. We haven't talked in a while, so I don't know if we're still friends. I hope we are. <laughs> we haven't talked in a while. Um, and that's just the way it is. You know, you got to keep your credibility. But the thing is, the, to go out for, you know, but I wanted to, like, because I, I know people would bring that up. That was after I reviewed two seasons of Orville without talking to anybody and said, no, this is fucking, and I'll stand by it. Even if Orville season three sucks, you can watch mm -hmm. the first two seasons and they're fucking fun. And they're I agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Definitely. And I absolutely stand by it. Uh, but you say no to shit like that. We're human beings. You get flown out for four days. Get to, especially if you're a Tolkien fan, you get to tour Oxford. You get that like they probably went to his grave site. They probably like mm -hmm. all these fucking cool places. Um, fully catered party, gift bag, twenty minutes of exclusive footage, a, an exclusive Q and A, and you can't talk about shit. You're only allowed to talk about the vibe, and then that vibe you talk about, and like, this is how they this is how they do this. This is uh, trillion dollar companies aren't trillion dollar companies for a reason. These guys probably all thought they were saying an original thing, and they were all saying the same thing. They really said the exact same words i was like did they give them like a script like this is what you read if you're gonna go on out and make a video after this this is this is their disclaimer you can say this nothing else <laughs> i think it was more like um and that could have been it that could have been it or it's more like um the the tolkien professor who sounded like he was like kind of the head honcho there because he's the kind of guy who self-labels tolkien professor fucking douche mm -hmm. um i think he was the most influential so he his first statements 
were just repeated by everybody else. Mm. Um, I, you know, there was a couple of guys. Uh, Nerd of the Rings was the only one in his. I watched his. That's why I linked his video. To be fair to him, watch his whole entire video because he does say a couple times where it's like, "There's some things I liked, and some things I'm not too sold on." You know what that is? Galadriel getting bullied. Galadriel's brother being made up. Them focusing on original characters more than than fucking characters that Tolkien made up. Uh, that yeah, that 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 I would have a problem with that too. Except if I went to that thing, I'd be all. It's all shit. Yeah, but it, they only got to see the first twenty minutes, right? But I wouldn't go. They only got they, no. They saw okay. Yes, they, they didn't see the first twenty minutes. They saw an edited twenty minutes of the of what's completed from the season. So oh. they did not see completed scenes. Uh, but oh. they saw completed effects, completed music, and it was basically a 20 minute trailer. Uh, oh, I thought I was... they got to see like the first 20 minutes of the no, first episode. No. Oh, all right. So mm. just to get the vibe of the show, um, <laughs> the fuck? What I That's was so privy weird. to was a description of the first episode. And uh, that's all I can say. Sure. Uh, but, um, and, and you know, I'm not going to like do the, like, I'll, I'll definitely mention it in my videos, but I'm not going to make exclusive videos on like spoilers in the episode. It's just not what I do, but I'll add it on another video. If there's another subject to come on for sure. Uh, especially when it's not super plot, it's just supporting our argument that this is going to be woke shit. Mm. And, and people are telling us over and over again that it's not, and they're lying. Well, it's it's weird because well, it, it's weird that they say that, though, because I mean, we've learned this over and over again. It's like the same thing we went through with the Eternals, with the diversity, like every five minutes. Um, that's exactly how Lord of the Rings has been described from the first moment it was even announced. It was like, we're going to have the most diverse Lord of the Rings ever. And it's just like literally all been about diversity, diversity, diversity. No mention of the actual content or what it's going to be about or whatever. Like at the very beginning, it was all, this is going to be the most diverse cast. This is going to be the most diverse, whatever. Um, and that's not necessarily what makes a good show. We all know that, <laughs> but, uh, they don't. That was their goal. The goal has always been the messaging, right? Not the yep. not the plot and not the what we all love, Lord of the Rings, uh, what that epic is about, what that what what everyone relates to, loves. It's all about the messaging, and, just like with Marvel. And to try to be fair to these guys, I mean, I don't want to like come at like full on <laughs> assault on these people, even though they've called this toxic over and over again. Uh, not all of them have. Not all of them have mm. partaken in that. So I, I think with some, it's just naivete. This is the first thing they've ever been into. How do you expect that when you're just a guy or a gal making yeah. stuff in your room? Like, I get it. Like, like that part, that part's, that's a fair assessment. Mm -hmm. It's how good these people are. That's why I put that clip of J.D. Payne in there telling everybody how big of a Star Trek fan he was. And how <laughs> I know. he was in Star Trek. And the only thing you could bring up was best of fucking both worlds. And um, this is that they're good at bullshit. That's why they get the job. How do you think Kurtzman got the job from Brian Fuller for Star Trek Discovery? Brian Fuller, objectively, is a much more talented showrunner. You might not like all his stuff, but the guy's made shows that have that have been very popular, critical acclaim. He's also known to be a little bit of a, you know, prima donna behind the scenes. He did American God season one. Um pushing up the daisies he wrote for star trek you know he's he's got you know he's got a good track record <laughs> good track record can be a little woke but doesn't let it take over his writing prior to 2016 i can't speak for after 2016 oh okay so tds gotcha yeah yeah so kurtzman gets the job over him after a massive mummy flop how does that happen because jj abrams and him and kurtzman are very adept, very good at bullshitting dumb fucking bankers who run this shit. And that's that's how they get these jobs. Like, Spiel, like fucking Abrams, I've said over and over again, is treated like Spielberg. He's treated like fucking Spielberg. What has he done? Nothing. Fucker done. Like, Spielberg is an asshole now, but at least he did stuff. You know, he was an icon. At least he was successful. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Fuck. At least so, he had some good endings. <laughs> Spielberg. Right? All right, and now like his his sphere of influence, Jar Jar, the bad reboot sphere of influence is everywhere, including Lord everywhere. of the Rings. Lindsay Weber, 
that um prior if you go to the full video of jd Payne talking about star trek right before the clip i put in he brings up lindsey weber's name he's all lindsey weber brought me the script for star trek so like th it's super incestuous and that's i mean like do we really think that the people who brought us the force awakens star trek into darkness star trek 2009 uh, people who were involved in Star Trek Discovery are going to make a good Lord of the Rings show? For real? Like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> no, never. Never. Uh, That'll be a miracle. The, be oh, a miracle. no. Discovery. That's all you have to say about this. Yep, there are Star Trek Discovery writers working on Lord of the Rings right now. What a fucking nightmare, man. <laughs> what the fuck? And I don't know how these fucking people get work, and I'm sure the Batwoman <laughs> writers have gotten work. I wonder if as his computer died. I don't know. Hang on. That took forever. Well, maybe he had had to. Well, it's been over thirty eight seconds, so he could have had a wink and come back. Ah, uh, that's true. I was. He probably objectified himself. His PC is going down. So we lost Mahler and As in one day. Oh, that's good. No, Mahler's here. He's just learned how to be like me. Really quiet. Really yeah. quiet. The BBC is for real now. BBC you guys. for real. <laughs> you know, we just got to get him out of here. I know. <laughs> yeah, once, once I find out, like, uh, the, the season two stuff, which should be today, <clears throat> I'll let you guys know some stuff. But, like, I'll need to support, like, uh, you know, like, Gal like Galadriel getting bullied is pretty specific. And that's how they start the fucking show. <laughs> I was just like, I could not believe it when I heard it. Jesus. I was like, What? I'm like, there's no epilogue or breakdown, and that's the, it's there, but it starts out with like a little Galadriel. I'm I'm guessing it's by your brothers. I I I should have asked the question and I didn't ask it because I, I don't want to get this person in trouble. But um, yeah, they, they, it's like it's kind of like in Mulan. Remember when they that 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 whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. Like at the very beginning, like she's like all like well, she's getting bullied and it's running around like everything everything with a girl okay i'm sorry yeah, they've, they've got it. I'm, I'm, are they going to show her like getting knocked down and then doing that pulling her sleeves up and standing back up again like captain marvel did like five oh i bet you they are as a little girl of course because she's tiny and strong yeah galadriel royalty yeah i'm gonna take this princess and just pick it bitch <laughs> <laughs> oh poor galadriel poor poor lord of the rings this is i can't believe this shit and I love, like, you're going to hear that, uh, for one, this is not supposed to be connected to the movies. So they're going to, like, everything's going to be different. And I think yeah. John Howe, in a very subtle way, tried to tell you that. Like, nope, this is uh, this is going to be very different from Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. Because they have no intention of connecting it. They wanted you to think that at first. So you would bring so, your nostalgia in. Yes. Yeah, but, like, once you get there, the, 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 see, their whole plan is once we get there, we're going to hook them with our great story and visuals. And they won't care that it's that it's not connected to Peter Jackson and you got to give them, you got to admire them for having that much overconfidence that Hollywood is filled with it. Hollywood is filled with Amber Heard's and Alex Kurtzman's. That's what it's filled with. And it's I think their end goal, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is to have their own either series or movies of the Lord of the Rings. Like they want to reboot the Lord of the Rings. Yes. That's why and, they got yeah. uh, the, the, the Saul Zantz things are—I don't know what's going on with that because they are making a game. Oh. They are making a mobile game. I think fucking EA is doing it. Or something. Like I don't give a shit. I'm not touching it. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, sure As will touch it. Uh, as might As will touch anything. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't know what's going on with the Saul Zantz sales. They can't like uh, Warner Brothers still has distribution rights, and then. You know, like they could probably do a Hobbit. I, I think Amazon could probably do a Hobbit right now, but they would have a hard time remaking Lord of the Rings. Uh, Warner Brothers would would fight them on that tooth and nail, and and that's kind of Warner Brothers' fault too. You know, I'm glad they they never did anything. I'm I'm very glad they never did anything. But if you think about it, how could you have never done anything with Lord of the Rings? You had I know distribution rights this whole fucking time. And you did nothing. Well, thankfully, they sold some licensing rights to to Osmus, who's done a great job making one six scales that are beautiful. But that's kind of it. They're making mm -hmm. statues now. They had a twentieth anniversary. They did Dick with it. 
They didn't do anything with the 20th anniversary. Didn't re-release it in theaters. Uh, hopefully they'll, you know, at least come to their senses by the time Return of the King comes out and we'll at least get like the, you know, the full trilogy, you know, Jackson cuts uh, in theaters. Like yeah, that. they should. Yeah, they should have done the extended edition in theaters because we never got that like originally. They've, they've done it like before in the past, but um, mm -hmm. not like wi wide. If they did a wide release, it would fucking chart. It would make a bunch of people would do with theater would sell out. People yeah. would go nuts. Until uh, Rings of Power comes out. They should do it long before Rings of Power comes out because that's going to sour people on it. I think there's a, I think there's at least excitement because people are buying the book at least and starting mm -hmm. to read it. The book sales are like have shot up, uh, which is great. That's good. That's you think it would sour people? Wouldn't it make people more nostalgic of wanting to see the good stuff versus wanting to see the shit that they're being fed? I think that's already happening because it's okay. already out there. Right. So right. I think a lot of there's the 20 year rule with trends. There's always a 20 year rule. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, it can be 25, sometimes even 30, but it's generally a 20 year rule that like once nostalgia kicks in and the people who are younger were watching that thing have more disposable income so they can when they grow up, they can get like collectibles. And, you know, it, it's it's uh, it definitely happened with Star Wars 1997, like mm -hmm. today because George Lucas is smart. It's happened with uh, many other things, and uh, Lord of the Rings is just next, and I think it's going to be immensely popular this year, the, the old stuff. Uh, the minute, like, even John Howe, like, John Howe kind of got taken, uh, kind of raked through the coals for saying, like, this isn't like Peter Jackson stuff, and people worded it different, but John Howe's, like, work with Peter Jackson. Like, mm -hmm. this, this, is, this guy's the real deal. He's, like, so he was just saying that they're going places in the second age that they couldn't in the third age. But, um, you know, you get headlines like this isn't your dad's middle earth. <laughs> That's fucking access media, man. God. Um, and, and they don't want your dad's middle earth. There's a bunch of people. The, the perfect meme is, uh, uh, hang on. I'll, I'll show Renee's meme because it's, it's, it's a little more inclusive. We'll say that. <laughs> Hang on. I'll get to it. Just give me just a mo. Uh, I, I like inclusive memes. Mine looks a little, a little Ryan-ish. I'll admit that. Uh, but somebody else made it. My wife sent it to me. Uh, but Renee, we use where's Renee's? It's gone now. Oh wait, we're gonna have to use mine. I can't see it. Sorry, Renee. I tried. Um, I gotta make sure my messages aren't up. Yeah. Boop, ba -dump, ba -dump, boom. I, Hang on. Everything is dying. <laughs> that's, that's all. Everything is fucking dead. This is it. I mean, this is the, like I said, this is the entire thesis. Now, Renee made a meme, and there was uh, a black guy and a, and a Mexican <laughs> a fucking sombrero. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was great. Oh, no. So they, they it, it just added to the other side, which made it multicultural, and I loved it. But oh, uh, that's great. Yep. Um, can you, can you uh, click on it so we can read? Can you the make words it bigger? Then? Yeah, make it bigger. There you go. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, Lord of the Rings is awesome, and Tolkien was great, man. Agreed. Tolkien's work is problematic. It needs to be updated to be better to better suit my modern woke ideals. And if you disagree, you are a racist incest troll. No, don't <laughs> worry. Oh, my God. When did Tolkien fandom turn into such a toxic, hateful place? When you showed up. Dude, that's yeah. like Frosk. Yeah, that's Frosk. The Last Jedi. Ghostbusters comic books, Marvel and DC, fucking gaming, everything, knitting, fucking <laughs> sci-fi books. Everything. Fucking knitting. Knitting. Fucking knitting? Oh yeah. And, yeah, knitting. And and like knitting's gotten gotten worse because the people who were um uh, there's some psychotic bitch going after Carrie on Twitter. I oh yeah, the knitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. told me about that. Yeah, yeah. There's like really crazy See you next Tuesday going after sweet Carrie Smith. Who would go uh, I know. Carrie Smith? I swear to God. She's like a freaking angel ring. Yeah, she's like an angel with the hat on. You yeah. know, she's, like, how could <laughs> she's you like out? Mary Poppins. Yeah. She's based Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, poor Carrie. Um, but Carrie. yeah, this is a, th I'm I'm sure you saw the new Frost tweet, Gary, right? 
Um, I, I did. I did. Where she, uh, well, is it? The, it's the one where she tried to twist Gate the Buffalo Gate. shooting to go. Yeah. Gate. Yeah. 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 That one. And then, uh, so I talked to Chrissy, uh, this Sunday when it was released and, uh, I think uh, she's going to be dusting off her frost ha uh, uh, yes. hair for Friday night tights. That's awesome. I told I told her to. I was like, make sure you uh, dust off that frost. <laughs> it's time for a comeback. Right? Comeback special. Oh. Everything's dying. Well, it, it, yeah, I think it's... um. This is like kind of like the the woke death rattle, but it I, I've I've said this from the start. I don't know what we're gonna have left, <laughs> and this is a this is a perfect opportunity. This is uh, I think I heard Raging Golden Eagle say this uh, that goes flashcast, and I totally agree. This is your time to shine. You got some stuff that's good. Don't fucking sit around. This is it. This is your opportunity. This is your moment. Get out there, make it, finish it, make it fucking good, and you have a chance because there is so much shit out there that something good, something even pretty good. You know, I was talking, uh, I was on uh, the TAC podcast. The, I think it, I did an interview yesterday. It'll be out in a couple of days. Nice guys. But we talked about, you know, Reacher, and I'm like, you know, Reacher was okay. Yeah. Like, is fucking the greatest thing since sliced bread. Uh, to a, you know, because we've been around so much shit. Like uh, in normal, like in 2015, a Reacher would get like a, eh, I'll watch it once. Yeah. Thing from me. Now it's like, whoo, it's pretty good. You know, it's it's totally different now. Yeah, because our standards have changed. That's the that's what I, that's the argument I was having, kind of like with Lofty Pixels about, you know, how he gave Doctor Strange an eight out of ten, the second one. Uh, and I was like, you know, I think it's because our standards are changing and there's no way that you could rate a great movie, let's say like Casablanca and rate, rate it as a 10 and then say like, let's say, you know, Doctor Strange 2 is a freaking 8 out of 10. It's just our, our standards have just dropped so, so far like, down. I, I like the Snyder Cut. OK, I do. I, there's no way in fucking God's green earth I'm going to call it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> okay? I, I know it's not an eight out of ten. It's I would not give anything with Ezra Miller speaking words in it. <laughs> fucking an eight out of ten. Okay, I liked it because I liked seeing Superman and Batman fly around, and mm -hmm. Wonder Woman, and 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 it was it was. I thought it was cool. It ain't an eight out of ten. Okay, I, that's fine, and that's okay. It's okay. Doctor Strange isn't even a point five out of fucking ten. It is garbage. <laughs> it was beginning yeah, it was to terrible. end beginning to end it makes no fucking sense there's no consistency in that movie uh and i think uh, this one people are fighting hard because i think they're raimi fans raimi's got some I i'm one of them but like raimi makes shitty movies too mm -hmm. uh, uh did well, you see that post by ign gary about uh doctor strange too i thought it was hilarious uh because they were the way that they had put put everything was like they were trying to say that uh like basically like doctor strange 2 made more money than the first one and therefore like it's just insinuating that it's better and i know that there's shills but i just i like pointing this yeah. stuff out because i think it's just it's it fucking does, insane a gaslight i mean that that's straight up gaslighting because it was different context the mcu wasn't as popular as it was now uh doctor strange one was not following no way home Mm -hmm. Okay, which had a multiverse theme, which had every uh, fucking everything to do with its first weekend. Absolutely everything. It was the lead in movie. And that's why it had such a massive drop. It's still going to do pretty well, but you know, it's not going to do no I am numbers. But I mean, look at like IGN's like being like, you know, it made more money than Captain America and the Winter Soldier, which is probably one of the best MCU movies of all time. And then they're like, you know, so what? insinuating that uh, it made this more money is than first Avenger. First Avenger is about a thousand times better than Multiverse of Madness. Yes. Which is, by the way, we're just call it for what it is, Mom. It's called Mom. It's Mom. It's Mom. Doctor Strange <laughs> to Mom. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. Even though this bitch wasn't a mom, she never had any fucking kids. Uh, and yeah, Shang Chi made a two hundred and twenty-four million. Uh, is it better than Captain America? No. Mm -mm. Or one is better than. Okay, let me see. Dark World. Da, 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 da. This is Dark funny. Dark World is better than Black Widow, Ant-Man and Wasp, Shang-Chi, uh, and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I'll say it. 
I don't give a fuck. Right, like all this woke shit will be forgotten. It's get it's turning into like a it's turning into to the paint universe that they went through. It's a bunch of sploogy yes colors. It's a fucking shit. puke of woke shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. It's, it's like it, it's it's an SJW got sick on Mexican candy. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. It's literally what it is. Um, yeah, and then there's Eternals, which I thought was really funny. Uh, I still haven't seen it. Eternals? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, actually, like that is who that, we were talking about this on EFAP. Like, how do you gauge worst? Okay, there's yeah. like the worst made one is the Eternals. Like, without a doubt, that is the worst made film. It is fucking just dumb and shitty and the acting is terrible but the most damaging to the mcu the most damaging films are not necessarily in this order but we'll just say captain marvel captain marvel Uh, the avengers and nick mm -hmm. fury uh loki which ruins the entire fucking universe the the mcu yeah (laughs) Loki is still the single most damaging thing to the mcu but multiverse of madness comes very very close mm-hmm. because you were fighting for the entire multiverse and you set up no fucking rules for it whatsoever you made sure the through line went through the antagonist not through the protagonist so much so where marvel admits it even the people who are trying to defend this movie end up accidentally admitting it all the time that this movie's about wanda and yep. then they go you shouldn't have a problem with that because they made no secret of it i'm like motherfucker the movie's called doctor strange too Doctor exactly. Strange 2 first, yes. and then Multiverse of Madness, which is apparently code for crazy ass bitch. Okay. Why I don't understand. Make, and then they go, why not make a Scarlet Witch movie? And I go, good question. Yeah. Good question. Why, why do not? they feel that they need to put a Scarlet Witch and then run the through line through her in a Doctor Strange movie? I would say that's a question you need to ask Disney because I know the answer. They didn't think she could sell a movie on her own. So they saddled Doctor Strange with her. She needed a man. The man that couldn't be in her series because they didn't want a white man teaching her what she was supposed to be doing about magic or whatever because white men can't be tutors to women now. That's all bad. Right? Uh, They're not even linked in the same universe. And then they're like, here's your movie, Doctor Strange too but it has nothing to do with you whatsoever i'm not gonna debate people on it because i don't debate kittens or little puppies it's not worth my time uh i i pet them and i and i make sure they don't run in front of a vehicle but uh i will not debate them uh oh my god poor as his computer r.i.p as his computer apparently i don't know if he can return, but yeah. um, all right. I need an as plushie now to put here. Can he might be able to stream through his phone? If no, he, no? that doesn't work. Oh, oh no! Mm-mm. Yeah, R.I.P. Everybody in the chat for as's computer. Poor yep. guy. Uh, I have this thing called a backup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah he doesn't have a laptop i have actually a backup and a, i have two laptops and a no, whole other pc it's just like case. <laughs> it's just something to think about you know just, he has so many hot toys there's no room for another computer i know i know <laughs> hot toys and get one of those meta pcs that will like wipe his ass and uh, sing him a song in the morning. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Mm. Uber geek. Wow. Oh, did he make something? All right. Something. I have I have an idea. This could be us. Oh, okay. Is that Snorlax? <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, it is. You gotta make sure the messages aren't showing. There we See, go. this is why we need as body pillows, because then we can be like, here at here's as. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, they the well done, well done, well good. done, sir. Uh, I got. I told him to work his magic yesterday. For uh, I shot him that picture immediately of fucking Thor uh, and Kang Valkyrie. Let's look at it right now. Kang. Let's look Kang at it right now. They're eating grapes. 
Yeah, like what's up with the grapes? Because Kangs eat grapes. I'm they, surprised that like he was she wasn't being fed, like you know, those uh very lesbianish um scenes yeah. where they're being fed right. grapes. Okay. All right. <laughs> there are people out there, and I I am not afraid to admit I'm wrong, but there are people out there. Particularly, let's go. Let's go to the body on the right, the Natalie Portman body, which is okay. She's more up front than okay, so you can tell she's a little more up front mm -hmm. and a, our much bigger King Valkyrie, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can see it. Uh, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but go to yes, we can the, the post right here. Mm -hmm. she, so she's a little up with like that's forced perspective. Also, there's there's sweet summer children out there that think these are her real arms. D right. You mean they're not, Gary? I'm, um, <laughs> I'm gonna call bullshit. All right. So I heard people going, "Man, she jacked up and worked out." I'm all, "Where? Where? If if fucking little Natalie Portman, who is a tiny, tiny, tiny woman, mm -hmm. went out and just got jacked up on roids, where's the workout video? Like that would be fuck. That would be that's great marketing for the movie. Unless okay, unless she's filled with a bunch of illegal fucking drugs." which would be very bad uh and she's a mom last time i checked or she is those aren't her real fucking arms they're enhanced um and people go what are you talking about i'm like uh you probably thought that taskmaster was played by a woman the whole time didn't you mm -hmm. i mean i thought maybe it's a body double because it's it could be a so body tiny. double she is very tiny um there are pictures of her not the dumb one that are on set with her arms all weird her, other pictures of her at the time that ryan showed where she's a little bigger for sure mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but no but not that no no <laughs> and i'm not saying it's imp like i've seen cosplaying women at comic-con who are fucking ripped as female thor that look great that look yeah. absolutely great um that i mean gina so carano's cool. fucking ripped but like she's like her body's like built for that mm -hmm. i don't know like she's because she's like been Tessa thompson <clears throat> little younger i could see her being in shape like that mm -hmm. I, I still think that might be enhanced but i could definitely believe that she would be that much in shape and uh and it seems that her acting range has stayed consistent uh resting <laughs> bitch face has basically been very oh. consistent with her <laughs> um, are they in wakanda or asgard i need to know this because Wakanda's we have african guard. iconography right here so maybe they're in wakanda they they really do look like they're in Wakanda. Maybe oh, maybe this is Greece. Then why is there <laughs> African iconography in Greece? I don't know. And then there's the grapes. And I mean, they look the grapes. Like they're I having mean, fun. Uh, I think I could use a bushel of grapes right now. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah. But, um, is it a bushel? I don't know. Is it? I think it's a bushel of grapes. I don't know. That sounds funny. <laughs> Bush, bushel? A bushel? A bushel. Um, I know, is this statue? Is that a statue? No, that's a person. That's, that's a like person. a guard. Person? Yeah. But they have the same face as Tessa Thompson. That could be Tessa. That looks they like all look CGI. very shocked about what's happening. Because, I mean, this look at Natalie Portman's face. Like a fucking human being right there. That looks like CGI. <laughs> oh, dang. Uh, I'm thinking some of it is. Uh, she looked be. like she was like part of the fucking throne there. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Um, it's her gear. She's like matchy matchy yep. with the background. So, yeah, uh, this isn't her. Look at how fucking big her shoulders are. That's what you got to look at. Sure like, like, Natalie's shoulders could not get that big, dude. <laughs> not in a million fucking years was little Natalie Portman getting her shoulders that big uh, and, and like i would love to see the workout and training vids that would be that would be a huge part of the special features and i know the little marvel simps are out there fucking backing this up it's like uh, every time i've seen somebody work out including brie larson they did instagram workout fucking mm -hmm. things they were all over the place they don't hide shit like this mm -mm. Uh, chris hemsworth like was probably in the best shape of his well he was i don't know if it's the best but he was the biggest he's ever been because of the whole coke movie prior to love and thunder he was taking pictures all over the fucking place him and his little pencil legs <laughs> this giant I remember that. body um 
it's it's weird because the the question of the pictures is also like heavy in the in the Amber Turd trial right now, right? Because these people are superstars, right? They're like narcissists. They want to take pictures of themselves. They want to catalog all this bullshit, right? Uh, and then you know Amber Turd comes out and she's like, you know, I, you know, she's accusing Johnny of beating her and you know breaking her nose and stuff like that. And she's got pictures of him sleeping, but she doesn't have pictures of her own face. It's the same thing with Natalie. It's like if if you were really this buff or like if you were working out and creating this body and this imagery, wouldn't you want people to know that? Uh, and and your your journey to getting to this place like that's why people love the before after shots, right? Is so, so that they can understand like how this person started to how that's going kind of thing. And we have no evidence of <laughs> her actual workout method, which is interesting. Yeah, it goes to like debunk all of this. Like this is her, this is her body. I don't know if it's her body. I could I don't be. Think so because her know. arms look bigger than Tessa's too, and way bigger than fucking Tessa's. Yeah, you know, like massive. And, you know, again, Tessa's younger, so I can see her getting in better shape. Uh, plus, she's you know she's gonna be in Westworld too, playing the same part. Um, no, no. Oh my God, Westworld season four trailer came out. I'm like, oh, I forgot that show's still going. Yeah, I've oh. never seen it. Oh, well, the first season is is a masterpiece and it should have just stopped there and it probably would have gone down in television history as like one of the, you know, you could, uh, because it was ambiguous enough to where people could have been just breaking it down forever. Mm. No, they decided to do a second and third season. They're just garbage, absolute garbage. So my theory on it is they have been trying to develop Westworld forever as a film. And they mm -hmm. used other people's scripts to put together a pretty decent first season. But when the showrunners had to go out on their own, and these are not bad showrunners, by the way. Well, one of them isn't. It's it's Nolan's brother. Oh. And but he's writing with his wife. Uh, and it was right at right around 2016, and it's a bad reboot production. And she kind of took over the writing after season one and kind of turned into shit after that. But oh, oh no, wow. the woman ruined it again. Okay. Lisa, her name was Lisa Joy. Yeah, God damn it. How come oh, women ruin everything? Like a photo. Yes, that's the, uh, yes. Yeah, hmm. that is that is some it's either. I think it's a little bit of a prosthetic, little bit of a digital enhancement on top. I think so, too. I, the digital the digital enhancement, it just looks like the digital enhancement. Wait, did Gary freeze or did I freeze? Oh, Gary's frozen. Oh my God, this is literally. Oh my God, the it's the real BBC. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. What is happening today? I have no idea. I swear to God, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything either. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Well, so... we have taken over. Um, welcome everyone <laughs> to the BBC. RIP Gary's computer. I've seen the chat for Gary and Az's computer. Az's computer. There's Mahler. I know Mahler's watching the show, so I hope you're having a good laugh, Mahler. <laughs> I swear I didn't hack it. Oh, God damn. What's going on? Wow. I swear to God, it didn't do anything. I literally didn't. And do anything. here I am going, women ruin everything. And then all of a sudden, Gary's like, bye. I'm just going <laughs> to leave you to run the show now. Welcome to Nerd Erotics channel with Nina Infinity and X Ray Girl, Girl, everybody. <laughs> Sorry oh about all of this. Um, yeah, I'm sure at some point, Gary will be back. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do, what do um, I need to do to be Gary? Oh, I should get the beard. Oh my God. Do you have a beard? I, I don't do. Have any, I do. Any, it was from I need Halloween. glasses. Hold on. I can be Gary. Here we go. Okay. Hold on. Oh, Wait, I'm okay. I'll let you shirt, be Gary. But I can I can just do this. <laughs> my name is Gary from Nerdrotic. I come to you from the, the place where it's called Oh Nerdrotic. my God. <laughs> we're we're here to talk about fucking how Lord of the Rings sucks now. <laughs> I don't, I don't oh know. Um, I don't know what to do. Did you ever get those comics that you were like asking when you first started? No, but I mean, I yes, yes, meaning like I got digital ones. Not no, oh. I didn't get physical ones, but I did start reading uh, some Moon Knight. 
I, <laughs> the BBC unsubscribe, everybody's unsubscribing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really didn't mean We're to take trying. over the damn show. <laughs> Oh hey, my God. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll show off my out of tune um, Harry Potter box here. Uh, I went to a fair in Mexico and I bought this little, little, this is now Hot Toys with the BBC. Um, this, it says trouble really find, wait, re usually finds me. It's a little Harry Potter thing. Some Mexican dude sold this to me uh, and it's got a little, here we go. Hold on. There you go. That just sounds extra creepy. There you go. Isn't that cool? There you go. There's that. And then I got the uh, Star Wars one. Boom. <gasps> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. My computer just fucking, uh, it, I, had, I had to restart it real quick. But it was, um, everything was fine. It, it, something stream, it's fucking stream yards. Fix your, fix your fucking shit or you're fired. So they, fucking sick of stream yards. I'm fucking sick of them. So is Rakeda. Everybody's fucking sick it's of them. On the shit. It's gone to absolute fucking shit. So I'm gonna be sending them a, a an email that said you've gone to shit. Fix your shit. Or uh, you know what? I my theory screen. is Gary is yeah. that it's probably being run by a woman now. Oh, just uh, no. <laughs> Only they sold. They sold to other people. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, and that oh, usually no. things downhill. So uh, yeah, I'll, they used to be very communicative. Uh, but that like they haven't improved anything in like a year. So I'm well, looking, I'm looking into other shit. You'll be happy to know that we didn't say the N word while you were gone. Oh, or, that's or, fine. Yeah, or you know anything bad on your channel. So we were uh, we were good. We were good girls. <laughs> Is the YouTube app blinking out too? Yeah, like the whole like like fucking Chrome was acting weird just for a second there too because I saw it blinking on my other because I have two computers up right now. Uh, see, I, I have a backup. See? Yes. Uh, I thought it was my Mexican internet. I was like, oh no, I froze. And then all of a sudden it yeah, was like, I fiber. like this shit should not be happening on, yeah. my, on my fiber. So there was a glitch in the matrix. I'm pretty sure. People I'm are saying you got hacked in the chat. It's It was just the timing of it was hilarious because I'm like, women ruin everything. And then you left. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here now. It's the movie she yeah, look oh. at this. The invasion is complete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, at least we got a good sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be the Russians. I'm sure it's the Russians who want to mm -hmm. like stop. Uh, who want to? What was it? I need to find that article. My Russia gate. No, <laughs> Russians were putting in bots to create last jedi discourse to create discourse in america oh yeah Which they wouldn't need to do because hollywood was already creating enough discourse in america that led to actual riots so mm -hmm. i would blame hollywood more than i would blame russians russia yeah that would just be me i kind of um never mind i'm not gonna say this on your channel Gary. <laughs> never mind. what i was gonna I'm say I, i'm rooting for putin because um uh, you know, he got rid of COVIDs. That's all, that's all. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I just, yeah, watched 2,000 Mules. Oh, did you? How was it? I, I haven't seen uh, it. It's very enlightening. Yeah? You liked it? Uh, I did. I, th there's like a, a core 20 minutes in it that you really need to watch, and the rest of it's kind of commentary, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But that core 20 minutes where they uh, show people stuffing boxes Full of fucking hundreds of ballots, like hundreds, oh. and they break down like how they did it. It's uh, pretty interesting. It's also pretty freaky because if they can buy that information, that government has that information, and that's how they track everybody from January <laughs> six home because they were able to ping your fucking cell phone. So, uh, dude, get a flip phone, get a, or don't, have, or don't have one at all that mm -hmm. yeah like like seriously it is fucking whoa how they i gotta were... watch that i still haven't seen it oh, uh, i saw like it. lauren southern do a review about it but i uh seen it. i think razor fist on uh he's got um what's he on again it's not censored 
Sorry, Rich. No, he's he's on his he's on his own thing. I subscribed oh. to it. I was just there. He did a commentary of it on his own thing. That was really good. Oh. Uh, but um, no, they so aside from the election stuff, they showed how they caught a, a criminal who mm. shot a young, a very young teenage girl. It's a very sad case, and so they showed how the the technology works by that. Yeah, but by, by the facial recognition stuff, right? No, no, by pinging a phone. Oh, okay. And then getting your information and then recognizing you if there's a CRT camera. But they um, just basically got him on his phone. This little girl got shot. They pinged all the, they harvested the data. Hmm. They triangulated an area and they said there's only seven possible people who could have shot this girl who, based on what they own on their phones, based on their records, and boom, they found the guy. Wow. And some gang member fucking killed this poor little girl and they were just able to ping him on his fucking phone. That's that is, crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy shit. That's crazy tech. Yep. Uh, psych, uh, psych, uh, five Pico snippets. I always don't know how to put that. <laughs> $50 Canadian dollars. It's two parts. So it's a hundred Canadian dollars. Wow. You. Uh, was at a comic store around my house because it had a big sale going on since they are closing after getting a good offer from a burrito place. Burritos in Canada? Hmm. Uh, after talking to the guy, I saw the bin of $2 comics and I've always just brushed by when he said, I'll let you fill a long box from there for 60 bucks. I was able to shove around 250 to 300 comics. Hang on, I got to roll. Oh, wait, I'm on my other. Uh, comics in the box. The box had two-thirds of the issues of 52 and a bunch of 90s Supermans and X-Men. Moral of the story is I now have to. I now have the start of a Superman collection. Yes, you do. Congratulations. Oh. That's, that's a good one, too. Awesome. And what a bargain get 300 comics for 60 bucks shit that's crazy Nuts. that's great mm. it also uh tells you the state of yeah comic book stores are going to be a rare thing they'll be around but they'll be a rare rare thing like a like a vinyl store right <gasps> oh five picoseconds lives very close to me is it still open because if so can you dm me the location maybe i'll go maybe they should have just gone comics and burritos right? mm. oh mm. Just don't eat that. I mean, food food doesn't go with comics. Like, just <laughs> eat it while you're reading your comic book. That's right. Uh, uh, Mr. Ch Mr. Tickle Trunk for 20 Canadian dollars. Hey, so Mr. Tickle Trunk. Hail to you three. Everyone who supports the new fake Lord of the Rings show on Amazon are toxic posers. Glad people are calling themselves out as posers so real fans don't have to do anything. Propaganda praising toxic posers. Yep. <laughs> Hey, with certain sites, they swung first. I was I was sure. recommending that site. I said these guys stayed out of it. They just talk about the lore and how fun Lord of the Rings, and they're the ones who decided decide to step in this arena. And I warned them for two fucking years. I made videos going, "This is coming for the Lord of the Rings fandom. I don't want to see it here. This is a cool fandom. We pretty much get along. Kind of reminds me of Doctor Who." before this shit went down. Let's try to stay out of it. <clears throat> What's the first mm -hmm. fucking thing Amazon does? First thing, mention diverse in their very first opening statement. Diverse. Mentioning the fandom in their very first article at Van Vanity Fair. And, you know, and 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 uh, places like the OneRing.net, before even Amazon started out, started swinging first, calling fans toxic. Toxic fans. Uh, mm -hmm. Or just, okay, by the way, back to the meme. We don't want the story changed. That's all. We're not saying keep black people out. There's a place. There's a place you can. It's gonna sound bad, but there's a place black people do belong in that story. They are in that story. You could put them in that story. It would make sense, and nobody would care. Nobody would care. You could do the same with Asian. You could do the same with Middle Eastern or Latino. You could do a lot of things creatively that would make sense within the parameters that Tolkien set up. But no, no. They don't want to do that, though, Gary. They want their diversity and their trans people and all. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's called lip service. That's what these showrunners are paying you. It's mm -hmm. bullshit. They're lying to you. They're like, we're going to respect Tolkien. And, and I'm sure they have rationalized in their mind, their own minds, that they are by creating new characters in his fucking story. He would be fucking livid. You don't think you, you created new characters? Why? Why would you create what to tell a better story than mine? These two fucking Star Trek fucking hacks tell a better story than Tolkien? Not, not, not in all of the multiverse. There is no <laughs> reality where these dipshits are writing a better story than Tolkien ever. He's Fuck. rolling in his grave. Poor guy. Absolutely awful. No, they, they, they think they are improving what was problematic. It was too <laughs> white. Just like, uh, you know, Norse mythology was too white. You know, the mythology that yeah. was thousands of years. We don't even know who fucking wrote it. We don't even know who <laughs> came up with it. For all we know, there could have been gods and they could have come up with the story. We don't fucking know because that's how fucking old it is. But it's problematic now. It's problematic and you're, uh, you're, uh, you're a white supremacist if you like it. Just like if you're a white supremacist if you like the Northmen because there's way too many freaking white people in there. Yeah, I'm so Absolutely. sick of this shit. So uh, sick of this shit, too. Yeah, we just need to start slapping him fucking down now. Now mm -hmm. it's time to start just like, uh, fuck off. Um, Speaking of slapping people, uh, here's a meme of you and Lofty Pixels. <laughs> uh, Lofty really likes female Thor, and admittedly, I mean, Natalie Portman's arms prior to uh, working on this film at all are still bigger than Lofty's. <laughs> Oh shit, damn Gary. Um, uh, so she's saying, what's that? It's from the time when things are good. And it's like Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, and then the next scene, it's Lofty Pixels. Uh, hang about. They're saying that this is the MG. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And then and then the best part, the best part is Lofty responded, fake news. <laughs> He says fake news. Like I know. Oh, sounds uh, like a fucking commie. Oh, this is a uh, this is a uh, Eric July on here. Hey, female Thor, this is costume is making my crotch feel blistering. Can <sighs> I get a new one? Uh, no, we're real men, not feminine women with <laughs> with muscles. fake muscles. <laughs> this is <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna trigger the Marvel consumers so much. Oh no, those are fake fucking arms. They're like, those are real. Leave the Marvel stands. <laughs> Marvel stands are gonna be so mad. Oh, oh, they're gonna be mad. And hey, like I said, show me the pictures. Like, I would love to be impressed by it. Like, I would love to see little Natalie fucking jacked, you know, at the gym. You know, mm -hmm. deadlifting fucking 500 pounds. Uh, yeah, I want to see it. Let's see it. I want to see it, too. I want to see, I wanna see I it. It would be fucking rad. It would be totally rad. Yeah, I want to see the transition <laughs> from, like, you know, yeah. super skinny fucking anorexic chick to, like, buff ass or, like. And we've shown it before. Like, they've d women have done this before. Jessica yes. Biel, for fucking a shitty Blade movie, looked fantastic she was hot oh yeah she was fucking yoked she was hot she looked like she could like stand up and fight like that's what uh, that's what the dudes have to do mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh so yeah i'm all about equality get your fucking ass in the gym and get jacked up like all the dudes yes yes and all the do marvel people are like the girls can't do that i'm like yeah they can the sure girls they can. can do anything the boys can do look at gina Gina gets jacked. Look at all the girls who uh, the, the UFC ladies who fight. They get jacked up. Fucking, they can do it. Do it until until a man comes in there and then they get killed. Even Justin Bieber for Terminator Dark Fate. At least she got in shape for. And then like they made her look as <laughs> <way> possible. Justin <laughs> Bieber. For a legit, I legit thought you were talking about Justin Bieber for a no, second. No, the, actress, <laughs> the actress who's in Dark Fate is actually like, really good looking. And they made her like as ugly as fucking possible. <laughs> oh was, my god, wow. I remember. She has like the frost hair. <laughs> We're in the worst fucking timeline, you know? We do. 
Oh, we do. Gary. Season, like I, I didn't watch the, the show, like Halt and Catch Fire. She was also in Preacher season one. Oh, I never saw that. Uh, uh, first time donating. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you guys for the hours of entertainment. You guys are awesome. You're awesome. Oh, uh, thank you. And Cestus. Is that how you say that? Incestus? I think so. I don't want to say incestuous or something. I know. I was like, wow, <laughs> that sounds like a really spicy name. Streamlab side, circumventing Mama Susan. That's a good thing. Thank you. Um, uh, bootleg Intellect for $20 says, finally, been trying to catch you all live, teaching and stuff. Keep on uh, busy. You guys are a breath of fresh air and truth. Thanks for the hard work and creating the example. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. uh, we get it from you guys. You're the example. You're the example. Yeah. So as his computer had died and, and Mahler had things to do. Mm -hmm. Just it just it ended up that way. It IRL things does. So uh yeah, it'll probably be a much shorter show today. <laughs> John L. Rice for $25. Uh for poor Az to help fix his computer. Uh yes. Uh, yeah, I think we should definitely get a fun going for a backup computer. Uh uh, da, 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 a bootleg intellect bootleg intellect for twenty dollars dr strange uh equals wandavision unleashed filmed in nitwit vision yes absolutely right. filmed by nitwits enjoyed by nitwits uh that's all i can say laser pointers balls of string fidget spinners mm -hmm. uh, dr strange to mom mom same thing same no. fucking thing. Uh, Thor had a fat suit. Uh, she had a muscle suit. Yeah, Shane Day, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Chris Hemsworth had a fat suit. But then, no, no, there's people out there legitimately arguing that those are her real arms. And I, I thank you for the 20 British pounds. And I just say, prove it. Prove it. I, and, and don't throw those stupid fucking set photo pictures at me of the fake arms that she's wearing. Because <laughs> okay, I've seen it. Uh, Elfin, uh, what is it? Elfin Jedi, Elfin Jedi for twenty dollars. Thank you very much. Not only is this not my father's Lord of the Rings, it's not mine either. Not my Lord of the Rings. Hashtag not my Lord of the Rings. I like that. I like not that. my Lord of the Rings. Yes. But it's it's yeah. There's no such thing as your father's Lord of the Rings unless you're Christopher Tolkien. It's just your Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Uh, even the shills hated that that headline and it was a gaslighting headline that's why i didn't like super run with it because i'm like yeah if you read what john house said that's not what he said um there's enough bad sh like that you do not have to look very hard to find lord of the Rings stuff to make content on to find some stupid statements i could do three videos a week if i had time um it, it's i just wait for it a, like a good collection of stupidity to get <laughs> to <come up. laughs> generally every two weeks and then i go you know but mm. that mm. but and there's a lot of stupidity out there <laughs> uh yes there is yes there is and it's mostly coming from the show itself uh yeah. marksman on the streamlabs side for oh boy this is two parts okay two parts two parts uh by the way uh i finished the second disc of every time I see Marksman, I think of anime of uh Parasite. Nice. It's How is it? You liking it? It's fucking dark. Got so dark. It's so oh. and dark. It is fucked up. Do you like that it's gone dark or do you yeah, not yeah, like it? There's, there's, oh, the, for one, it's a normal story. It came out in 2014. I don't know when the, uh, the manga came out. People are going to say the manga is better. You're probably right. But I like the, the, the anime. So they build up this like uh like little love triangle with our with our main protagonist and his girlfriend and some other girl who can kind of sense his power and mm -hmm. they build her up over episodes and then they just fucking kill her and i'm like oh Whoa. no oh damn yep and yeah. the way they killed her was fucked up but it was uh it it was also very very comic book and cool it was very gwen stacy kind of thing oh wow so I was like, holy shit that was woo um People and, are screaming spoilers in the chat. Oh God, it's been out since 2014. <laughs> I love when I didn't even do spoil that. the end. It's just I didn't give you a name, and a lot of fucking people die. A I lot know. of people die in this fucking anime. So you're gonna have to guess. 
because it is a bloodbath. This anime, I gotta watch it. Well, it's about okay. So, uh, just no spoiler plot. I'm just gonna give you the premise. Uh, and most most of the weebs out there are like, we know the premise, and the manga's better. I know, I know. <laughs> they always say that though. You know, and I agree with you. Source material is always always better. better. Um, so these uh like alien spores fall down, and what they are is they're parasites, mm -hmm. and they take over human hosts. Uh, but they have to take over the head to fully, and, and they consume it. They mm -hmm. eat the head and eat then it. morph into a replacement part. Um, they can do that with other parts of the body too. Sometimes the uh, the parasite doesn't take all the way. Um, and in this case, our protagonist uh, has his hand taken over mm -hmm. and that's what stops. So he's always talking to his hand. <laughs> and it, it sounds very metaphorical. A little eyeball. Yeah, here I'll pull up the. And uh, so, anime, uh, uh, a a a member, a member, because I'm trying to do two things at once and I can't remember the name. Uh, Parasite the Maxim, that's what it's called. Uh, a member sent us this as a housewarming gift, and it's f fucking awesome. That's so sweet that you got it from a fan or a member. Yeah. So here we go. This is it. And I, I don't know. You could probably find it on your local service somewhere, right? I can. Uh, I have my ways. But I, I'm watching it on the physical media. Physical. Because I like physical media. I like yeah. it, too. This is it. Oh. That looks yeah, badass that looks already. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, like that guy's, like, eyes and his chest area and... He's oh, like demon-looking parasite! Like uh, he's yeah, he just he mm, he gets in. His buildup is pretty cool. It takes a minute. They take their time with this. That's the beauty of it. Is anime usually takes its time. Yep, it Good takes its time, and it's fucking awesome. It's always worth Love it. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this this little evil mama right here on the left. I like her a lot. She too. looks evil too. Oh yeah. I love how anime always has like the, the evil looking, you know, it's people. The eyes. Yeah, it's the eyes. And then you could tell like the two, like that one sweet little girl on the right. She's the sweet, innocent summer child. Yes, she is. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> She's going to get killed, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> really catchy theme song by, uh, I think it's like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, some Japanese band. And they, the way they oh my god see they fucking listen to you Ooh. they fucking listen they do to listen to you it's creepy as fuck but why did they what the fuck was that angry woman okay jesus uh oh, there's so many good episodes migi that's the migi's the the hand and it's supposed mm. to be a guy but it's a girl voicing it for uh yeah there there she is Brittany. I hope she isn't like some Vic hater. I don't. That's why I'm like afraid oh, to like, look at yeah. these. Yeah. Because I'm like, is, is one, are one of these people like anti Vic? And am I going to hate this now? I don't yeah. That's why it's usually good to watch like Japanese with subs. So, yeah. You know, yeah. So I'm not listening to some see you next Tuesday of canceled poor Vic Mignana. Yeah. Exactly. Because that's all I was thinking about at first when I saw it. Because it's it because the the that's the problem with the uh, anime dubs, right? It's like very monopolized. So usually it's going through uh, Viz Media, whatever the fuck that company was called that screwed over Vic Mignogna. Yeah. And uh, uh, I mean, he's on his kind of on a comeback situation, which is nice. Protagonist Shinichi. Shinichi. Uh, do you want to see something really funny, Gary, uh, that I came across uh, on Twitter? Uh, okay. And then I got to get back to that super chat. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, I, I got blocked by this lady um, because I pointed this out. Uh, it was it was very random. I saw this thing called Diet Riot. <laughs> there ain't no uh, diet going on here. Excuse me? <laughs> and it's called a fat fatter punk anthology um and uh, this lady's like this anthology that this person writes puts together it's it's so excellent the stories are scary as hell 
but also have a body positive message that I really liked. Kudos to all the authors in it. Great job, whoever this person is that wrote it. Uh, so I kind of like retweeted it and I was like, brah. And then she's like, what? What was wrong with it? Because she blocked me. Uh, and then she was like, what was wrong with it? And I was like, nothing. It looks like a really heavy read. And then she blocked me. And uh, that was a heavy read. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So th this is what's going on in the, um, you know, not even in the comic sphere, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. This is that this is the new fucking bullshit body positivity that they're trying to push on kids, um, even in. Yeah, form nobody's of writing when they're when you're that big. Uh, writing is a lot of physical exertion, uh, a lot of swinging of punches or bats or getting hit. And if you're uh, not in shape, you are going to get destroyed unless that like you're one of those giant men. Yeah, she probably ran out of breath the second she swung that bat. She's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you couldn't have a good like five minutes in the riot. Like she probably like is it, 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 devastating in five minutes. But after five minutes, yeah, the blood sugar gets a little low and mm -hmm. uh, very very vulnerable. Like, I'm know. surprised she doesn't have like giant antifa written like right on her tits. But I mean, it's that should be called diabetes. The comic. <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, thought it was hilarious. It, it's it's fucking hilarious. It's the lengths people will go to. It's like it, the amount of work you put into like excusing it. Just go to the gym. You just don't just have to look to like Adonis. You don't have to look like a model. You don't. Mm -hmm. Nobody says that. Just just go. It, it's really good for you. And I'm 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 really glad that Sports Illustrated. Uh, did you see the cover? I I, I got buried on uh, the New York Times post because she's all because they put shaking for the fucking it's their own description of this woman. They said shaken. I said, the only thing is shake. I said something like the only thing is shaken is the ground when she walks or something like that. Oh my God. Let's find it. Let's find hey it. Oh. <laughs> uh, you mean the chick that was debunking you be laughing. Here, right? We need to we, <laughs> shaming needs to be brought back in a big way big and time. light. And I mean, like we got a bunch of criticism for this when I was uh, over at Tim pool, we talked about light bullying as opposed to like, Fucking horrible bully. Horrible bullying sucks. We don't want it. It's terrible. Mm -mm, mm -mm. A little light roasting, shall we say? Totally fine. Needs to be brought back immediately. I think fat shaming needs to be brought back. Listen, I was fat shamed. I was fat, and it gave me uh, the the will to not be fat anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm not fat anymore because <laughs> because I got fat shamed. You know what's funny? Um, that movie Zombieland, when mm -hmm. they were like, um, the people who ended up turning first were the unfit people <laughs> that <laughs> ran away because they couldn't run. Yeah. Oh, this one. Okay. Uh, Yumi Nu shaking over SI swimsuit uh, cover reveal. And I said, the ground is shaking where she walks. Oh, my God. Hey, oh. Oh. Yeah, she's got she's got her own gravity, dude. Look at that. Damn. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's, it seems almost 2018, but it's good because it's getting people to work out. So whatever, whatever works. Mm -hmm. Um, and remember your local politician, especially if you're in blue areas, kept you from going to the gym. So it's not all your fault. I, mm -hmm. I went out and took like long walks and jogs. That's what I did. Um, and, and in San Francisco at a time where just a quick aside. That's what I knew San Francisco changed. So after it got locked down and then the summer of love, I was taking my little run walks. I have my headphones on, my sunglasses on. I am very, uh, it's not smart. It's not wise. I'm not very aware of my surroundings. I'm lost in my music and my thoughts. And uh, one day I was doing this and some guy was getting a beat down by like three guys beating the shit out of one guy at the gas station to my house. And I'm just watching this going, fuck. This is oh, even no. in San Francisco. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know, I just started noticing, like, shit had changed. Like, you could feel it. Can you feel it? You could feel shit had changed. That, that's when we made our decision. We're like, we out. Mm -hmm. I no went through there. something similar in Canada, and that's why I was like, oh, no, I'm out of here. Yep. Um, but you know what's so crazy is about this this situation with the, with, with the fat people. Um, you saw the, the, the new Hillary Duff magazine cover, right? Where, where she's beautiful oh, and she's gorgeous. just like, yes, just that. That. 
we need more of that, right? And then that yeah. that author in the independent, she came out and she was like, this is terrible and like blah, blah, blah. Um, this is what that lady looks like. This is why she's sure, jealous as it. hell. Of, um, but like my other... thing is why can't we have body positivity in both <laughs> ways then like if you're saying body positivity it's like why are we shaming people for having good like you know eloquently nice bodies you know i don't yeah, get that i don't yeah you inspire you like because women are jealous of each other that's why i mean in this case of this lady right here she's jealous as hell of hillary duff I, because I, she can't get the attention I, 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 that Hillary Duff got, and she yeah. did the same shit. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna put down my fucking nude She's photos. Young. Like Hillary Duff is in her 40s, had kids, and looks like that. That took work, mm -hmm. and yeah, she's probably got the money and the resources. That's great. Uh, gyms are pretty cheap, um, and like also keep your goals and your expectations at a, 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 a so you don't set yourself up for failure. That's the biggest thing is setting, and that's hard mm -hmm. to do. It's hard to do. Just just go to feel better at first, and then be patient. And if you consistently go to feel better and you're patient and you you go every day or at least six days a week and do a minimum of a half an hour to 45 minutes, you're going to look better. You're going to feel better. Uh, like, you know, I, I'm not going to look like uh, Ryan or Chris Hemsworth or fucking even a, just any think anybody's going to the gym right now is younger than me. I'm 20 years older than most of these people. I understand that. I'm fine. I have to work out twice as long to get half the results I did 20 years ago. So fucking what? I'm still going. I yeah. Don't... That and good diet. Once you change your diet, change, you know, take out some sugar out of the diet, you know, all things will fall into place. Oh. I promise you guys. Sugar, salt, bread. Drink uh, water. <laughs> drink coffee. water. Get rid of the bread and the sugar for sure. And light salt. You can't, it's hard to avoid salt. Salt is mm -hmm. everything. But instead of like salted almonds, have raw almonds. Uh, mm -hmm. those are things that will fill you up. They bland as fuck, but they'll fill you up. That's what I snack on. Uh, this is, a, I think this is an improved version of this meme. Okay. Uh, okay. So Renee, this is Renee who was bringing in, making it multicultural and I loved it. So, uh, we got, uh, it's beautiful. and C. C, C. Very good, senor. <laughs> See, a white person would be offended by this image right here and there's no mexican alive who would be offended by this at all no nope. <laughs> they'd be all yep <laughs> i promise you they'll be like hell yeah <laughs> yes, yes i am from san diego they I, are very proud of their country and their culture and bless them for it okay yep i live here they are very proud of their country and their culture and they love this shit and they don't fucking like it when you call them latinx and they don't fucking like it when you fucking you know try and think that 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 that's that's even a thing they think it's fucking retarded which yep. it is which it is why we love them uh da, 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 da. fable forward for 100 dollars. thank you thanks for always being awesome thank you for being awesome uh been a follower for years uh, with an old account, created a new media company and launching very soon, a couple of months. Excellent. See, this is this is this is your time to shine. And again, that's Raging Golden Eagle who said that. So I don't want to steal what the man said. Uh, I always enjoy taking breaks to check your lives, nooners, and media coverage. Time for change by putting in effort. Absolutely, and thank you. That's it. Keep time. So the, the whole thing is we can do all of this at once. There's enough of us out there to keep trying to change Hollywood, use our economic power to do that, use our voices. And then there's the creative people who can go out and make their own shit. And then we'll support that once it gets, you know, it, let's be real, good and consistent. And once that happens, it, like the Daily Wire's doing it, other people are doing it. You know, like I'm looking forward to Gina's movie. I think it looks mm -hmm. pretty I like Westerns for one. And it looks pretty good. It Dude, does. that looks violent as fuck. I'm ready yeah. for that movie. Hell yeah. Looks great. Hell yeah. I'm down. Yep. Uh oh, quick announcement on Dallas. The Dallas meet. I uh, like this week is the uh, oh, I want to give a shout out to Geeks and Gamers, Ryan, Drunk 3PO, Jeremy, the whole crowd is going to be in Flor Florida. I'm not going to be there, so I'm going to be like that lonely guy meme who's on his swing by himself and in his Aww. house 
watching all his friends have fun in Florida. So they're going to do a meetup uh, for the MegaCon. Definitely, you know, uh, watch uh, Tuesday Night Main Event tonight. I'm sure they'll have details. They're doing a meetup, I believe, at Universal City Park over the weekend of the MegaCon. Again, you know, follow uh, Jeremy and Geeks and Gamers and Ryan and Drug CPO, and they'll have all the details. They're going to be there all week having a good time, and there's a meetup then. And that's this week, this weekend in Orlando. And then a month from yesterday, we're having our meetup in Dallas, Texas, at a place called Gators. And it's at 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, we're going to be there for however long. Uh, we're going to have fun. It's a day before the con. I'm going to the con all weekend. So I'm going to be at the con, buying comic books, running around, running around Dallas. And we might do some altered stuff. Of course, I have to do the show, Friday Night Tights, for my hotel. Uh, and it looks like most of the gang is going to be there. I don't want to speak for everything. I haven't heard from Chrissy yet. Uh, so I don't know there. But I know Jeremy's going to be there. Ryan's going to be there. Comics is going to be there. Odin's really going to try to be. I think he'll be there. I think we'll make sure we'll make sure he gets there. Um, Quarter Black, of course, is going to be there. Uh, Mrs. Neurotic's going to be there. Uh, I, our boy George, bo not boy George, but our boy George, the Giant Slayer, is going to be there. George. Um, we might have some other guests at the meetup that you might know and like. I, I don't want to like shout it out just yet, but we're really close to like, it's going to be more than just FNT people. We'll see. There's a lot of people in Texas. We'll just say There's a lot mm -hmm. of, people in Texas. and uh, it's, so this is, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll have more details as time, time comes on. Uh, maybe we'll do a, another like little thing over the weekend. That'll probably be like super impromptu, but uh, Gators is the meetup. It's Thursday night um, at 6 PM. So be there if you can. If you can't yeah. we can't make that, then Vegas will be like a couple months later. Uh, I'll also be at Anime Matsuri. And oh, you're going to that? Yes. Nice. I yeah. will be watching like FOMO, like as with FOMO. And I me. Get, get a chance to meet Nick and Yellow Flash and that Umbrella guy. Can't can't pass that up. I know they're all going. Um, Chrissy Mayer is going to also be in the Orlando oh, yeah. meetup this weekend with the Simpcast crew, uh, including Brittany Venti so, and that Star Wars girl. They're all going to be there. So make sure you go check them out, too. I think she's got a gig. Yes, uh, she does. Uh, she no, nor is it just the Simcast. Is it the panel? I can't remember. She's doing the Simcast panel, but I think she also has a show there. Okay. Also. Okay. Because I think what she's trying to do is where the meetups are, she's trying to book a gig, which I think is a really fucking smart idea because that can act as the other meetup. We yes. can like do like our meetup and then like go to go see Chrissy at, at a gig, which would be fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. A lot of traveling over the yeah. So San Diego Comic Con and Anime Matsuri are like week. Uh, San Diego is one week, and then a Anime yeah. Matsuri is the next week, and I'm going to both. Uh, me, me and Quarter Black are going to both. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with San Diego, but um, it might be kind of cool if you're there. But I'm not going into the fucking con, even though I got press passes. This is the year I got press passes. Do you believe you that? did? You're, you're, but you're not going into the con. No, this guy got to wear a mask. Okay. Oh fuck that! Oh gross! Right. They just removed the mask mandate for indoors in Mexico, like <gasps> like yes, like two days ago. Finally. And uh, whenever I go like to places now, I don't wear a mask, but everybody here is brainwashed. So they still wear a mask and they stare at me like weird, but they don't say anything anymore because it's no longer mandatory to wear one. Mm -hmm. And I just look at them back and I'm like thinking to myself, you're all fucking sheep. But other than that, I don't. But it's been fun. If if people have balls uh, and I know everybody here does, but we're, I'm talking about the people who will be walking into Comic-Con. If just everybody showed up without their mask, there's nothing they could fucking do. If everybody just mm -mm. showed up without their mask on. But there's like, you could already see it in the comments. They're like, good. The the mask. It's like, oh. you know That's what? It's so stupid. You get sick going to con anyway. Before COVID, there was the con crud. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called the con crud. You got the con crud every year. And it's like a, a cold you get in the middle of fucking summer by being around a hundred thousand people at a con. It's usually um, that way it goes, you know, and it's, actually it's herd immunity and all that. 150,000 people <laughs> take a 
it's a million people downtown. This is in its heyday, right? Wow. So the, 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 the cap limit for the convention center, I think is 125,000 ticketed people. And then there's the people who work in there. So it's like more like there's like 200,000 people in that building. Wow. It's a big fucking building. Uh, and then there's the rest outside, like hanging around the gas lamp and running around. And it, it, it used to be a lot of fun. It used to be tons of fun. Sounds like it. Yeah, it's going to be lame. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Guys, these are the new body pillows for us. <laughs> oh, I want one. <laughs> I think someone did that with my giant Snorlax, too. <laughs> that has oh, his my face God. On oh, we miss you, as. Okay. Hope you fix your computer soon. Yeah, that's going to be difficult to work. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. well, that, that's why uh, when when mine busted down, I got a laptop like that day and I didn't miss any work. It sucked paying that much money, but that's the way it goes. Uh, no Zaku boy for $50. <laughs> Who sees into the hearts of men and the undergarments of women? Peeping Tom. Tom faces an enemy out of this world. It kills franchises for pleasure. It hunts for fun. For wokeness, it can't be seen. Only Tom can turn the tables on the predator. <laughs> I was glad. I think for the second video, in the one, I'm going to try to make it three. We put an as an as re into it. Every time you do that, first of all, I crack up. Second of all, it, it's it's funny though because it, you're putting it at like the times where I want to kill myself the most. So it's like you're cushioning my wanting to kill myself <laughs> with the re. Uh, it's very intentional, I'm sure, and it works. Behind the scenes on the last video, we I mean, it was done plenty of time. Like Garrett had it done. It was solid. And then asshole me, I'm going over it and I'm like, we could add something here and be kind of funny. Let's, let's do that. <laughs> and i kept on going back uh and you know garrett's like ah you misread something you got to re-record i'm like okay that happens all the time mm -hmm. and then um and then i'm like oh wait there's more audio see if you can i mean if it's not too much trouble garrett if you can and then next thing we know it's five in the morning <laughs> wow yeah. yep I've seen oh my it. god <laughs> i've seen it and uh but and it was all to add in jd Payne that clip and some audio clips uh, that was like all we added in but it, it takes a lot of time uh because there's music layered under mm -hmm. it and stuff uh but i was like oh we and then i'm like oh we definitely need to do the captain kirk motorcycle jump to as <laughs> yes oh perry you got the sound effect boom had it i freaking right. laughed my ass off at that part Later. man uh, that was so good <laughs> Uh, Nick Adams, what is oh United Arab Emirates? Oh yes. Uh, so it's five hundred United Arab Emirates pesos from mm -hmm. Nick. Adams. Thank you. That one hundred and thirty-six U.S. dollars. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know we were like you can you can see us over there. Yeah. That's cool. uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That would be blocked. Like I'm shocked because you know there's well, females on here. It's a dude. So he's, no, he, yeah, I was like, he's, he's the guy. So it's all gonna go through him. Um, yeah, it's that place is crazy. That place is crazy. My wife almost went there. Wow, like, really? Yeah. So they needed oh. hair colorists, and mm. they were, you know, they were offering crazy money, and you had to like a. It was a six month sabbatical. So wow. her and her friend, I'd have to be without my wife for six months. And she'd be in Dubai. I I knew nothing about it at the time. We thought about it, but she said no. Ultimately, it was a lot of money, though. It was worth like, oh wow. Uh, but no, no. Especially now, now that I know a little more, I'm like, whoo, good Thank thing. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to get out of trouble. But um. There was a there's definitely a documentary where they're bringing in some workers and then they lose their visas once they get there. Yes, there's yeah. a lot of fucking shady shit that goes on there. Yeah. So, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's crazy. But America's bad. 
<laughs> uh, Marksman. Okay, I'm back to your super chat from like an hour ago. Sorry. Uh, it says, as notice in the wall scroll, Tifa has her hands on both girls like a greedy girl. It makes me wonder, what if she's secretly a package deal? What do you do then? Is that oh. paradise or is it too much to handle? Also, bald is now a protected class in the UK. Is wow. it? Wow. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Also, on comics member stream, nearly killed Ruben with laughter. Well, don't do that. This, <laughs> uh, this is what happens when we get access to voice mods. Oh, I know. <laughs> this is a link for one uh, millisecond clip of the funniest moment. Enjoy. Thank you very much for the link. We'll check it out later. Uh, wow. Ruben. Uh, just take it easy on Ruben. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Is that for real or is that a joke about the bald people in the UK being protected class now? Yeah, there was an article out saying, like, you, you, if you're shaming bald people, you're being fucking racist, whatever. <laughs> shaming bald people goes back to, like, the first bald guy ever. Like the I know. Who had a little bald patch on the back of his head. They're like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> uh, it's, it's part of life. It's part of being a dude, okay? We, we can handle it. Some guys get you, or you, dude. Elon's got fake hair and it looks good. Larry David made an entire career of making fun of himself as a bald man. Yeah, that you know, George Costanza. William Shatner's been bald for for most of his life. Really? Yeah. Yes. He wears a toupee. He does. I didn't even know that. Yeah. How did yeah. I not know that? God, yeah. fake geek girl over here, right? Shit. Yeah, a bunch of people are like. It, it, and there's there's solutions if you want them. Some people like don't give. I think not giving a fuck is the best thing. I think not giving the fuck is the best thing. But I have to admit that in Gary, Gary in California, I did see some men that were doing that weird thing where they take the beard hair from you and then they oh, stick it onto it? your head. Yeah, the implants. And it's, it looks pretty good. Like it, it's better than the toupee now. Like, it is it more natural. It's really than... expensive. But you well, that's what uh, Elon has. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. it's it's hair, it's real hair. He just yep. he, he was bald, but he's also like the richest man in the world. So he probably had a human scalp transplant for as far as we oh know. god. Somebody said I'm bald. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've seen it. It's real. Now, now, being bald. Uh, late art thank you for the 129 czechoslovakian pesos uh have you tried to turn it off and turn it on again as <laughs> <laughs> i think his computer turned it off for him <laughs> yeah <laughs> god as it's so much porn you you're watching it's too much tifa porn guy uh, there you go there you go uh, John J M twenty eight for five British pounds says Rings of Power is better name for a porn movie. Yes, it's Jack <laughs> movie oh, no. uh, um, from Belfast as an X extra on Game. Oh, you're an X extra on Game of Thrones. <laughs> named now or proud? Hi X Ray. No proud. Hi. Wow. Proud. I remember when they were doing all those, uh, uh, people would fly over there to be extras in Game of Thrones. They quit their jobs to do it. Wow. Uh, Ian Carlos for $1.99 says, no Azur Mahler. It's officially the BBC. It is. It is. You are not wrong. Especially when Gary left. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? XSL for $5. Gary, you must split Cali with continuous lines to make into separate states. Where do you put lines and what is included if you split to two or three? Uh, it should be split into three. California's too big. It doesn't represent the entire state. Basically, L.A. and San Francisco run everything through Sacramento. Sacramento doesn't really get a say in their own shit. Uh, and I would split it this way. So everything. So San Francisco is not in Northern California. It's technically in Southern California. So I would make Northern California its own thing. Uh, and it's a lot of redwoods up there. It's beautiful. It's like Oregon, except like Northern California isn't as woke as Oregon. Now. <laughs> Oregon's woke. How is that of possible? Because of Portland, but everybody in the, like Oregon, everywhere else is pretty red. Uh, California up in north. I mean, they almost broke off. If it wasn't for World War II, they would have had. We would have had the state of Jefferson up there, which wow. is Oregon and Northern California. So it should be Northern California, uh, 
I would call it central California, which will be LA and San Francisco and SAC and central that you, you know, sorry, you know, to, and then I would cut it off at the South of LA and I would say San Diego County, Imperial County should be their own state. Cause they, San Diego gets lost in LA. It's becoming a megalopolis. If you know what that is, it's what you can't tell when two cities uh, are different. They're just, mm -hmm. they've grown into each other. It's a megalopolis. And if it wasn't for Camp Pendleton, uh, it would be Camp Pendleton is this giant Marine base in between Orange County and San Diego County. It's massive. Uh, and it's the only thing keeping LA and San, and San Diego becoming the same thing. It used to be two very different cities, but they're melding into one and it kind of sucks. Uh -huh. That's where I would start. I would just break it into three because San Diego would be different. That, that, lo that lower part of California would be definitely, it would go back to red if that happened. Because Northern California, San, San Diego Calif is super red still. That's why I moved to, I moved to a town called Escondido knowing it was just total ma maga country there <laughs> I, I, went. I was like i'm not going to go anywhere where there's going to even potentially be a riot i want to go somewhere where if somebody starts to riot somebody People, will yeah shoot, shoot they them. wouldn't yeah yep. they just wouldn't put up with it so yeah and after being in a city where they allowed that shit to happen it's just like no no i got i got a kid I'm not, I don't want to be within fucking miles of this, right? Yeah, uh, no. Jason McHuston for $10 says, for as is PC build back better fund. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Meta, PC, Meta PCs, are you out there right now? Sponsor as. Yes. This would be an excellent person to sponsor. He games, he makes videos, he does live streams. He does it all. He does it all consistently. Mm -hmm. Sponsor as sponsor heel versus oh, baby face. Oh. Yep. Don't ask me because I'll say no. <laughs> but you don't game. I don't game. No. I don't game. And uh I'm good uh in that department. Uh late art for 129 Czechoslovakian pesos. Good thing uh Gary has the M the my backups <laughs> <laughs> my backups hey, i do what's up later thank you and it is a good thing i got my backups uh land mammal for 10 canadian pesos star trek discovery you mean crying in space rings of power is going to be a dumpster fire you are correct mm -hmm. a massive it, we've already the first episode focuses on out of the three characters it focuses on elrond is in it all right but he's not the focus the three characters it focuses on out of the three characters two of them are original is one of them the elf of color it's the eoc elf of yeah. color <laughs> aaron deer is his name mm -hmm. and uh the other one is is nori brandy foot the female hobbit female oh my god nori brandy foot oh, nori brandy foot the one at the beginning of the trailer goes yeah 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 <laughs> uh big hair for 10 british pounds is isn't it ironic that in the pursuit of diversity they've made all media look and feel exactly the same yes and even more racist <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny they always do that they do uh lady boss a lot for ten dollars says uh, Finarfin's children, yes, are Finrod, Angrod, and Agnor. Agnor, Galandria, uh, Galadriel Finrod died saving Baron. Angrod died in the first age. In uh, I can never pronounce it, so give me a break. Uh, Dagor Bragalic. So he they died in the in in uh, it's called the Battle of Sudden Flame. So, uh, Angrod Galadriel survived uh died with angrod galadriel survived that's right so both brothers died in the battle of the sudden flame that was morgoth just fucking nuked them basically wow and it was a horrible way to die but even I worse bet. was finrod who died in the dark it's not it's not a good for for an elf to mm -hmm. not you know die under star in the dark yeah yeah uh, to die in the dark which uh which you could now it it he ends up 
like being brought back later. Uh, but everybody gets brought back later for the fi- final battle. For the final battle, er- everybody gets brought back. But um, yeah, he dies in the dark. I mean, that means uh, you know, his he doesn't go to basically he doesn't go to heaven right away. Yeah, he doesn't go to like their version of Val- Valhalla. Version. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's very sad. Mm-hmm. but like it was fucking like when you hear stories like that that's what makes the like unfinished tales and similarly and badass because you have elves hand-to-hand combat with werewolves i mean that's it's fucking like, dope that it's would be cool to, cool to see in a tv mm-hmm. show no we're gonna see galadriel get bullied but oh I, my god we're gonna see like elf I, of color get with other elf yeah. of color or human of color i think that I one an elf fight a werewolf that would be you know that's fucking epic can I see Moon Knight fight a mummy or or a werewolf? Werewolf by night. Uh, remember, That's what... the game, remember the Game of Thrones showrunners thought thought it would be lame to have a bunch of dire wolves fight a <laughs> dragon. And I'm like, yes. What? what? Like how? Oh my god. That's the same thing with the Witcher. It's like, can we have more fucking monster fights with the Witcher instead of like, let me just fucking be lame and have like, you know, you, person you of color sorcerers. Of, uh, of Jack Schaefer at the beginning of my uh, Doctor Strange review, where she's like, I don't think we need a villain in WandaVision. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I don't think we need a villain. Villain's grief. And the guy's like, uh, yeah, we need a villain. Yeah, we need a villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's Lauren Hisrich with Witcher. <sighs> yeah. They are the same Literally. person. Jack Schaefer and Lauren Hisrich are interchangeable. They're wine moms fucking writing fantasy. And they go, you know what? And they just have a wine mom perspective where grief and sadness are the biggest villains of them all instead of, I don't know, a giant fucking monster. I just like, because guys are simple and we'd rather have a giant monster. You can Girls, have your- too, girls too, Gary. I just wanted to see the Witcher <laughs> fucking be badass and beat monsters, okay? I didn't want to see fucking two lesbo elf and fucking sorceress chick fucking scissoring. You don't even know what the hell's going on with their relationship. Nobody cared. How about Yennefer, who was annoying to begin with, with a lot of people, like taking the one good aspect of her away yeah. so she could science at the end of what you're doing. <laughs> Fucking God. lame. God, so lame. Retarded. Uh, I, and like, and they took the book Blood of Elves and just butchered it. And it's fucked. Completely butchered it. Oh. It's a good they book. They completely butchered Yennefer, too. It was like, yes. dude, what the fuck are you doing? Well, because they can't, like, Yennefer is kind of dedicated to Geralt, right? Yeah. You know, she likes her man. And kind of you know, likes, you know, kind of talks about the nuclear family. Of, you that know, robs her raise... of, yeah. yeah. No, that's right. That robs her of her agency. We have uh-uh. to pass the Bechdel test. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hashtag feminism. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Um, Galadriel's brothers are very dead prior to the second age. Extremely, completely, utterly not alive. So not to have one that's alive and then marked by Sauron, and then he's going to be the Sauron Sauron, basically. Oh, God. Sauron's Sauron, because they need another villain. Yeah, because he's going to be crazier than Sauron now. And because these fucking writers are bad, reboot, basic bitch cunts, they have to like have personal and familial tragedy. They have to make it very Greek. And the only way they know how is to have mom commit suicide or dad beat them or their Incest. brother. Like really stupid soap opera shit in fucking Tolkien. But when- we were but we were warned about that, Gary. We were warned about that because Bezos wanted Game of Thrones. Yes, he did. And Lord of the Rings. Yes, so he did. We, well, we we already knew that he was gonna have some sort of weird fucking, you know, incest shit in Lord of the Rings that he was gonna put in there because that's what everybody wanted from Game of Thrones. Well, even if if not that, it's it's the same problem that's with Picard. Like every character have to has to be motivated by personal tragedy. Right. I, how come you can't just be motivated, like uh, to be a hero? Like, be a to, hero. yeah, I'm open to that. Yeah, I don't know. Like Captain Sheridan in Babylon <laughs> Five, because I've been watching the fucking shit out of it. Yes, dude, dude is just motivated. Dude, dude wanted to want to, you know, fight for Earth. Mm-hmm. Wanted to be. That's all he wanted to do. Yep. 
I wants them to win. Want wants his species to win. <laughs> at the best, best part. So um, I was up till four in the morning last night watching Babylon Five. I was not working. I was fucking off completely. I watched the anime with my wife. She went. To, she she got tired after we finished the second disc. So I'm like, ooh, I can watch a couple seven yeah. episodes of that B5. And uh, I got to the part where uh, basically B5 goes independent. It's so fucking mm. cool. The whole build up to that. And uh, so you know, good. Sheridan's talking about like his good dad, right? Like he, he was studying for a test and he couldn't get to sleep. And it's the rain on the roof that puts him to sleep. So he tells the story of his dad going outside knowing that he couldn't sleep and his you know he has the final exam to get mm -hmm. into the force or whatever and his dad like gets a hose out and simulates rain on the roof until so that he can yeah sleep. yeah and it's kind of sounds like a ridiculous story but like it's fucking cool it's super cool it is and uh, it, it adds like character character dynamics and just gets you to understand that like the, the father's role in his life and everything like that is just amazing his dad's alive it gives him a pep talk later and it's just like yeah because i was totally thinking his dad was dead and his dad wasn't dead which is great i'm like wow he's his dad is cool and alive <laughs> yeah uh yeah i'm sure when straczynski if he was to reboot it like his dad will have I don't know. Deadbeat dad left him. And then left him. <laughs> went, for, went out for smokes, never came back. Yeah. After beating the shit out of him for a day. <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that uh, it got delayed, but um, it's a great show. Watch it. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful but yeah, show. Uh, no, they have to put in some person, and, and it's just a really, it's a, it's a very simple way to create false drama without having to show very much, right? Instead yep. of actually portraying through, I don't know, some flashback scenes, because they're already doing flashback scenes, her relationship. Well, for one, it shouldn't even be there. Okay. It shouldn't even be there. If if you have to, this is not any property. This isn't fucking, sorry. This isn't Star Wars. This isn't fucking Star Trek. This isn't even Doctor. This is Lord of the Rings. This is sacred fucking text. If you have to make anything up, you should not be doing it. Mm -hmm. You should not be. You are not the person for this series it is in the wrong hands when you have to make up shit there is uh for one if it was your decision to only adapt the appendices there are plenty of characters in there to adapt plenty all you have to do is the fall of numenor just do the fall of numenor do the forging of the rings do uh i mean go there go, go ahead and do the, the war of the last alliance all three of those would make their own separate TV shows. 